Welcome back to Get the Facts. We are discussing the contribution of farmers to the food supply chain. Farmer Lawrence is still with me in the studio. He's been sharing his story. Let's pick up right where we left off. You've been at this for going seven years. Yes. Right? Uh, startup was a bit of a challenge, but that's right. you made your way around. Yes. That's right. Now, one of the things that I, I know, people want food. People yes. also want work. Yes. And I, I don't know if Grandpa mentioned that you can also provide for other people and help them to make a life. So where are you now with, um, in terms of employment? How many people have you taken on this journey with you? Um, definitely um, my, my wife is one of the critical persons who is um, active a part when it comes on to record keeping and help out with the finance. But other, we have employ, I mean, during the onion season, we have uh, 10 permanent workers during the season. When it's, Which season is that? Uh, they do in the onion season. So, that's when. so the onion season starts from fall, from from October, to up to up to March. Okay, okay, okay. So, yes. so we do it seasonal, and after after that, now we do we could do other crops like onion, cantaloupe, melon. I mean melon, cantaloupe, cucumbers. Mm -hmm. We diverse with that. We do with other other crops according to our market. Yeah. But so onion, trust me, the employees. A lot of person is employed. It's mainly women. Um, we depend on money, mainly women. Um, is a source of employment um, mm. that we use to assist us with the onion. And trust me, this, this, the women, are, they are able to send their children to school, to pay their wow. partners um, every, a weekend time. Yeah. And, and trust me, it, it, it really elevates and, and, and lifts the employment of the, of the country. And, you know, at, at one point, um, when I look outside, I saw about 15 persons working in the field. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I took my wife, um, you know, I was looking through the window and I said, babes, Look at how many moat is yes. being fed by, oh, by the farm. Wow, wow, wow! You know, and 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 I see and I see where where persons really um, actually depend on us. Sometimes they call us, ask Mr. Lynch, you have work for us and stuff. Sometimes even though I, 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 I have to I have to create the work, I create. You know, yes. sometimes I don't have it, but I mean, I, you know, I make space and I, and I, and I, and, I, and I make um um a way for for somebody because I know, you know. That and, and trust me, they help. We cannot do it on ourselves because we do not have enough machinery. But we, as a community, we we we, we, we come together mm -hmm. and we are, and we make it done. We get it done, you know. Understood. And we got our honey and onions on the table. We got yes. melons on the table. Oh know? yes, <laughs> yes. I I, I like to hear how it comes together. It's yes. it's not just your thing, but it 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 it's lifts. A yeah, it's a lift. It's a family thing yes. and a community effort um, together. Wonderful, wonderful. Now, throughout the interview so far, you have mentioned several agencies and companies, yes. and I, I, I want you to just um, give us an idea of the sort of assistance that you'd get from, especially an agent, see, like okay. RADA, because there are farmers who are watching who need to do what you have done. True, I mean, true. Um, definitely, with with um, with with RADA being a part of the the Yellow Saga Park, or matter of fact, any from your part of a farming um community in Jamaica, RADA is across the entire Jamaica. Mm -hmm. And so we can any person can link up with a RADA extension officer or go at the officer to just to let them know that you are a farmer, you're interested in your farm and trust me. The knowledge that I have received from RADA. Right. Training the training and the knowledge base that I mean they are they have um persons who are eligible, persons who have wisdom and they have the knowledge, they know how to, to advise right. you. Because with everything that we do, we need to seek the knowledge before we go, before we actually go enter into it. Whatever crop, whatever area you're going to do, we we'll seek the knowledge first. So rather, I was one of those um, agencies that equipped me with a lot of knowledge where crop rotation is concerned. Mm -hmm. How do I identify pests and disease to actually, and, and, and what um, is to be applied to prevent or to right. or anything curative so that we can actually have a healthy plant, produce a healthy fruit, mm. so that we can have a healthy, um, um, wholesome food. Well, let me yeah. jump in here. How did you access this training and this information? As I said, the, one of the things that the ministry was pushing the information, I mean, pushing the initiative of, of Honian. Mm -hmm. So through that now, the, I, I gained this information through it. And also with the onion seed as well though, Rada was able to assist us as farmers with onion seeds. Right. Farmers get pesticides, um, fertilizers. So, so even though I tell you about starting up, mm -hmm. sometimes it can be difficult to start up. But with these um, grant agencies such as Rada assisting us, it 
makes life easier and it makes you can you can get a start in life. It's a it's a kick start that you yes. get <laughs> that you get. So it may not be so much as you want to actually plant an acre of land, but the resource that you got or you get, you can be able to start it's and to start. grow because it's about growth and development. Mm -hmm. I started off young with one acre of yeah. onion. And from 2014, I did one acre, then I did two acre, then three acres, then I did three and a half acres. So, so you grow. So it's not a get rich mentality um, now, but we grow and we develop over a period of time. Got you, got you. And you have to be a member of yeah. RADA. Yes, so, so it is, yeah. So, so once you're, yeah, yeah. So it's a member, being a member of RADA, you will, you will get, uh, get your farmer's ID. Mm -hmm. And uh, with GIS, you will get the receipt book. So when it's time for you to sell your produce, you have a receipt book to give to those whom you're selling so that right. they don't have any trouble. Because pre the last thing, is a real thing and it really affects a lot of farmers and so they with, with that we can have the assurance that, that our produce is coming from somebody who's reputable doing um, farming and doing agriculture. Right. I wish I had the time to ask you a bit more about that, but I want to talk about the future. What's next <laughs> okay. for Lawrence? What's next for Lawrence? I will continue to plant until I hear a voice said, plant no more. You're in this for life. <laughs> so I'm just in it for life, you know. So I mean, even the growth I'm, I'm, I'm looking at um, no, because one of the thing is, one of the, the, the issues I'm seeing on the ground is that um, where I was and where I am now and where I'm going, right. I'm talking about production and productivity. Uh -huh. As my grandfather said that food is a stuff of life. Mm -hmm. And one of the things is that the ants is very wise because mm -hmm. the ants have a storehouse. Yes. And one of the challenges I see in the sector is that um, the storage. Storage is one of them is a major challenge. So I am in the process now, in the thought process of creating storage to store the, the produce so that we can have a longer shelf life because the glut sometimes in the market really, right. um, I mean, too much things waste and it is hard work to grow tomato, hard work to grow watermelon. And when we have a glut, there's no storage to prolong the shelf life of our crops so that tomorrow we can we can have storage for tomorrow or for our next day. Understood, understood, yeah. understood. You know, you you have told us your story. Well, the parts of it that we yes. had the time <laughs> to go through. Yes. You have you have you have said a lot of wisdom and I want you to give some wisdom. Like grandpa gave yes. you, what would you say to aspiring young farmers who were Lawrence eight years ago? Eight years ago. Is that um at the end of every occupation there is a dollar sign. And coming into the sector, coming into farming, we have to have the diligence. We may not have every knowledge, but we will seek the people who have the knowledge so we can gain the knowledge to put in our enterprise, to put in our business. That diligence, that same hard work that you will get up in the morning at six, prepare your breakfast, mm. and you go after work, that same energy, you put, it, you put that energy into your business, and trust me, that diligence and that hard work, God will allow you to reap the benefit yeah. of that hard work. And I am doing it, and the Lawrence then was a progressive Lawrence, and I am continuing to be progressive, and I'm thanking God for the knowledge, for the wisdom that he has imparted unto me, and for the, 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 the learnt knowledge. My grandfather ah. said that the learnt knowledge that we must understand, you know, they, they, they said that the experience teaches wisdom. The experience yes. that I have gone through, the ups and downs, yes, I have challenged, every occupation, everything, we have challenge. But be diligent. But be diligent and we will work with the challenges and we will, we will thrive and, and God will see us through. <laughs> Man, thank you so much. A final word from Farmer Lawrence and you have given us so much about grants and where to get support and the information, the learned knowledge. Yes. I think we can use that term from this conversation. Man, we have gotten an inspiring story but also some, 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 some ways in which those who aspire to this area can join as well. Practical information. And this has been Get the Facts. Our guest was Lawrence Lynch, a successful farmer and supplier to Jamaica's food chain, feeder of communities as well. Thank you for watching and until next time. I'm Theodore Henry. Take good care.